here we are back at the farm on a very windy day. Just trying to get this film now before the rain comes. And we're gonna have a look at the bow fighter. We're gonna have a nice look around it. I'm gonna start with the boot. May as well. This is our Bristol bow fighter. As you can hear now, it's gurgling after I fix one of the spark plugs. Sounds very good. Look at all that room. This needs tidying up here. Let's sort that out. Nice little clean up. But it's pretty good condition. It's all dry. There's the electric aerial, which still works, which is good. Now, before we do anything else, we'll have a look at the engine. belts up a little bit, um, check all the gaskets, got a little bit of oil down there, we're going to investigate that and see where that's coming from. Apart from that it's all good, just needs rubbing down and painting up, get it all back to new really. We've got this lovely panel around here, we'll show you what's under here in a minute. Okay, I'm making a film. Over here we have the original turbo, which is all working. Again, okay, so that just needs rubbing down and a good cleanup. Another panel here, we'll show you what's under there in a minute. up all on its own which is very good. So in here we have the brake master cylinder and everything. We have the fuse boxes and the wiring goes all the way up there. It's everything. Um, there's the battery and here we have an MSD timer and this little thing here for the turbo boost control, which is turned right down at the moment. Boost retard. Fan comes on, all nice. There you go, excellent. They really thought about this car before they made this. Just gonna tighten back up. Kind of look around the other side. what's under this one. Oh look, there's the spare wheel. Excellent. Again, very full out. All the tools for the wheel are behind it. This the ratchet. Back. Here's my 
Marco Boost XL. Start anything up to about a 10 litre car, so I don't go anywhere in any of our cars without that with me. And if you look in the back, oh, what I really like is these side sills, because they're flat to the floor. You don't, it's very rare that you ever see that, but it feels really good to get in the car. So you're not gonna scuff things or damage anything climbing in and out of the car. Quality of the lever is very good. This should come down. Yep. Excellent. And as you can see, the window at the back. Oh, I think that's come off a bit. I'm not going to open it because it's raining, but if you undo that clip and the other one, the whole of the back comes down. So even though it's just that section that's convertible and this rest is hard top and a sunroof, it's still classed as a convertible. And then we've got a little side panel windows. All the interior lights work. Which is centre console. And then, got this lovely dashboard. All electronic AT switches. I don't know what that switch is for yet. I need to read the manual. We've got the aerial. The aerial goes up and down. Let's have a look. There we go. The aerial going up and down. It's great that it all works, really. Water temperature stays good. We've got water temperature stays good. Oil pressure's good. Vacuum's working. Great one is this one. It's really good to show you how the battery's doing. Your light switch, wiper switch. Massive aircon unit. I had one of these in my old Plymouth. When you turn them on, they're like a wall of ice. They're amazing. Aircon switch, roof lamp. I think that's, they come on when the door's open anyway. Just wondering what. Ah, oh, hang on. I've made a discovery. Oh, there's me thinking it's only the back bit that comes off. It is actually a Targa roof. Oh, discovery. Because when you look at it from here, it looks all part of it. But this panel comes completely out. And there's the handles. And there's one over there. Brilliant, I didn't know that. Wow. Be nice driving this to Goodwood in the summer. It'd be very nice. Unexpected surprise. There we go. So Tim, I hope you like your new car. Great buy. And of course, we have our Goodwood Road Racing Members Club badge. The, the actual bow fighter. There we go. I think I just did that before it started to rain. So next time we have a look, we'll we'll take the back down and we'll take the roof off. But I'll wait for it, the weather to get a bit better. Enjoy.